Hi folks, I'm Sonny from Fenwater Carver Store. Welcome to the Fenwater Carver Store and the Carver Emporium's video instruction on how to prepare dried carver so that it tastes just like the fresh carver that we drink in the islands of Vanuatu every day. And I'm Ruth from the Carver Emporium. When you prepare dried carver at home, you're going to need the following items. Today, I am using a 250 gram bag of the famous Tana Carver range. However, this method works for all our standard carver powder products, including coconut carver and any of the other Vanuatu carver store range. Does this always apply to the Carver Emporium's Carver product range like Chief's Carver? It sure does, Ruth. All of the standard Carver powder range at Vanuatu Carver Store and the Carver Emporium, like Molecular Magic or Chill Out Carver, can be prepared in the same way. Once you have your 250 grams or 8 ounces of powder, you are also going to need 1.25 liters or 42 fluid ounces of water and a large carver bowl to squeeze your carver into. If you have more or less than 250 grams of kava, then don't worry. At the end of the video, we will give you a breakdown of how much water to use depending on whatever amount of kava powder you have. Now you have worked out how much water you're going to need, you will also need to get yourself a straining cloth. I normally use a cheesecloth type of fabric. However, I've heard that the pantyhose works just as well. Oh, really, Sonny? Well, I've got some in my bag if you want to use one of mine. That's okay, Rooster, but thanks for the offer. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have all of your equipment ready, it is time to start preparing the cover so that it's ready to drink. Right, Sonny. I'm looking forward to it. To get the maximum strength from the cover powder, you should only fill the straining cloth about two-thirds full. If you use too much cover powder during each preparation process, you may not get the maximum strength from your kava powder, so this is very important. In this case, I'm going to put in half of my 250 gram bag and use half of my water. I'll then make a second batch with the other half powder and water. Also, please note that if you're not going to use all the kava powder in one preparation sitting, then I recommend that you keep it in an airtight container. Or if you have bought kava from the Venodo Kava store or the Kava Emporium, then simply reseal it. Okay, Sonny, now that we have the carver powder in the bag, what do we do next? All right, Ritha, this is the part where we try to replicate what happens when you prepare fresh carver. First of all, you pour the water over the straining cloth holding the carver, allowing the water to seep through the carver bag. Let me try that, Sonny. Sure, Ritha. Sunny, you mentioned that some people also add lecithin or dairy products to help increase the strength of the kava juice at this stage. Yes, you're right again, Rutha. And while we don't advise against this practice, as a Vanuatu kava purist, I personally don't use it. Still, this is the time you would put in this sort of additive, which claim to help release the lactones. Okay, so this is the most critical part of the preparation process. You then need to tie up or hold together the ends of the straining bag and re-dunk the bag into the water and let the water soak through. Then, Rutha, this is where you get to test your muscles. Seriously though, it's easy enough to do. You just squeeze the tie off bag as hard as you can to extract the carver juice. Now, Rutha, it is really important that you repeat this process four to five times or for about 15 minutes as it helps to make sure that you release the maximum amount of lactones. You make it look easy, Sonny. That's because it is easy, Ruther. The kava is now ready for drinking and we have made enough for up to 10 serves. Care to join me for a shell, Ruther? I thought you'd never ask. Yes, please.
sorry. If you don't get it right this time, I'm going to come over there and yeah. stick my tongue straight down your throat. <laughs> right. I'm going to record it. Oh. Yeah. Right. Get it right, mate. It'll be all Let's go. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I did not hear sorry. that. Oh, what do I stand here? So, you want I'll stand here and block yeah. the wind. If you could block the wind from the wind. Okay. Come a bit to the side. Keep your legs closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> My leg closed. Yeah. Otherwise, the wind challenge through. He's right. Yeah. Actually, it's a bit. I oh, know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've worked out how much water you're going to need, you will need to get yourself a straining cloth. I normally use a cheesecloth type of fabric, but however, I've heard that pantyhose works just as well. <laughs> Told you, you're supposed to be reading that, not looking at oh, me. Oh, really, Sonny? I know, I know. I was going to read it, but then I looked and it was like, I saw something oh, else. I got the look on my face that, you know, just disturbs a man. I can do one action. You make it look so easy, Sonny. That's because it's... <laughs> That's because it's... Two, yes, I'm told top. you. Three, two, one. You make it look so easy, Sonny. That's because it is too... Yeah. <laughs> That's Don't because...